On today's episode of Let's Talk Drones, we're discussing the importance of utilizing ND filters while shooting with the DJI Mini 4 Pro for commercial clients. In past videos, I've touched on this topic before, and there are some of you out there that disagree with me. I'm gonna show you and tell you why you're wrong. So without further ado, let's talk drones. What's up? It's Chris the Drone Geek and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Drones. Let's Talk Drones is brought to you by The Droning Company, the number one online resource for commercial remote pilots based in the United States. If you've got your Part 107, you're looking for commercial work or you just want to stay up to date with the latest news and trends in the drone industry, The Droning Company is the place to be. Check them out online and sign up at thedroningcompany.com and across all major social media platforms. Recently, I had a commercial real estate client reach out to me requesting that I shoot some aerial video of a property they're preparing to list. Now, this is a fantastic client. They're super easy to work with. So the answer was automatically yes. And the opportunity to fly a drone for money, what better scenario is there for a guy like me? I only had one question and it was a question that only I could answer. And that is, which drone am I taking out to use? Now, normally this isn't an issue at all. I just take the Mavic 3 out because it's my workhorse drone. It's got a very reliable airframe with a consistent flight experience and the camera on it is premium for a prosumer drone. It does everything that I need to do and more. However, now that I've got Freewell ND filters for the DJI Mini 4 Pro, it wasn't quite as simple as it used to be. Because the Mini 4 Pro, while it doesn't have a superior camera to the Mavic 3, it has a camera system that certainly makes the Mavic 3s a little bit uncomfortable, if I'm being honest. In previous videos that I've done about the Mini 4 Pro, I have been extremely impressed with this drone. I've made it known that I believe this is DJI's best mini drone to date. Heck, I'm gonna double down here, and I'm gonna say that this is the best mini drone on the market today. Absolutely no competition, and it's not even close. In this form factor, you won't find anything that can perform like this drone, period, end of story. It's that good. But one glaringly obvious flaw with the Mini 4 Pro is its inflexibility when exposing a video. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, it's easy to expose video and balance the image out. All you have to do is just raise the shutter speed. That's true. That is how you would mitigate that problem internally on the drone. You would just increase the shutter speed. But if you're looking for a particular look, anything outside of surreal, that's not really an answer. It's a non-answer. Because when you raise the shutter speed, you are reducing motion blur until you get to a point where there is no motion blur. And in most cases, when you're shooting in daylight conditions with the Mini 4 Pro, you're gonna have to raise the shutter speed to a speed that makes it look surreal. There will be no motion blur and you'll just sort of lose an element that makes footage look professional. And to continue beating this drum, that's where ND filters come in. Now, if this is your first time ever being exposed to ND filters or the idea of ND filters, you may have a question on your mind right now and that is, what are ND filters? And to put it most precisely and most simply, they are sunglasses for your camera. It's not just drones either. You can use ND filters on handheld cameras as well. In fact, it's pretty common practice in the professional sector of photo and video. In this pack, we've got ND16, ND32, ND64, ND128, ND256, ND512, and ND1000. The smaller the number, the less dark the sunglasses are. The higher the number, the more dark they are, the more tint that is applied to the lens on the ND filter. We've also got polarized ND filters in here, which is what I ended up using. When I originally shot this video, the idea was to take you out into the field with me and show you what went into the actual job, not just the results of the camera. Unfortunately, I got the footage back to my studio and I realized it was all out of focus. And on top of that, the audio was dog water because the microphone that I had for the Pocket 2 died. So I decided to bring it back into the video studio and just talk about my experience using the Freewell ND filters for a commercial project with the Mini 4 Pro. I started without an ND filter. And as you can see here, this footage is unusable. 
Now, there are a few factors that made this extremely challenging for the Mini 4 Pro. It would make it challenging for essentially any camera system. The first one was there was absolutely no cloud cover, not a cloud in the sky on this day. So we had the bright, shiny sun just beating right down onto the surface of the Earth. And if that wasn't bad enough, we had just gotten a coverage of snow in north central Pennsylvania, which acted as a giant mirror or bounce card for the sunlight essentially just taking whatever was being thrown at it and bouncing it right back up, which completely destroyed the integrity of this image. You can see that there are almost no details that are salvageable in this shot. Now, the only way that I could really fix this problem with a blown out image was to jack the shutter speed up. I was able to get the shutter speed to a point where it exposed the image well, but I had to set it to one over 3200, which as you can see, makes the footage just a little too surreal. Everything's moving too smoothly. And some of you might like that, but for me, it's just not the look that I want. And it's certainly not what I wanna hand my clients because I know I can do better and provide to them a very professional level video. So after seeing as much as I needed to see, I landed the drone and decided it was time to put an ND filter on it. Now, because we are competing with snow on the ground, we've got that additional reflection off the ground, I thought it'd be a great idea to use a polarized filter. And if you're not familiar with what polarized filters do for us, essentially it eliminates a lot of the issues you get from glare and reflection off of surfaces like water and snow. So we put the polarized ND32 filter on the drone, launched it, and here were the results. So as you can see, ND filters with the DJI Mini 4 Pro elevate it even further. Now, before I was already impressed with the quality of the Mini 4 Pro. In fact, it puts out such a high quality image, both photo and video wise, that I was willing to use it for any of my social media platforms. And in fact, it's my main flyer when I'm just flying to have fun or for social media content. Now that I've got ND filters though, whoo, it opens the door to a whole world of opportunities to use this professionally. And you can count on me doing just that. What did you think though? Let me know down in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up icon. It helps me out a lot. It helps get this video out into the algorithm to more viewers like yourself. If you really liked this video and you love drone content shot by drones, about drones, and for drone pilots, my friend, this is the channel for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon too. You'll get a notification every time I post a new video. As promised, before we wrap the video up, I do want to share with you some details about having two sets of the Freewell Mega 16 pack of camera filters for the Mini 4 Pro. If you have a Mini 4 Pro or you know somebody that has a Mini 4 Pro, I've got an opportunity for you to win the extra set of camera filters that I received from Freewell. This is my gift to you. My misfortune turns into your fortune. All you have to do is go down to the description of this video. I have a link there that'll take you to a form. Fill out all of the pertinent information on that form. It should only take you a couple of minutes and you're entered for a chance to win a free pack of Freewell Mega 16 pack camera filters for the DJI Mini 4 Pro. I'm only accepting one entry per person. So if I see that you've got multiple entries submitted on that form, not only will I delete all of the duplicates, I will also remove you from the drawing. I don't mean to be harsh. I just don't have a lot of time and bandwidth to sort through hundreds of duplicates. So please, one entry per person. You don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe, you don't have to do any of that. Just enter the form for your chance to win the Freewell Mega 16 pack camera filters for the Mini 4 Pro brought to you by the fine folks at Freewell. You know, if, if you did want to subscribe and follow and like all of my social media platforms, that would be appreciated too, but it's not necessary. So make sure you enter to win. This is free, absolutely free. All I need is your information on that form 
so that I can contact you. And that's all I'll use it for, is just to contact you in case your name is drawn. Until next time, I'm Chris the Drone Geek, and I am out of here. See ya! Yo, yo, yo.